Hey guys, Revolver Rossler here, and this is a very special episode today because this is the first review I've ever done of an NXT show, and it will probably be one of the only reviews I ever do of an NXT show. And I'm reviewing this one because this these matches on this show were actually the dark matches from NXT Brooklyn. So I thought I'd review them not as um, a separate a part of NXT Brooklyn as a separate show, but just the dark matches. So this is going to be uh, NXT August twenty seventh. Review and I'm just going to put in, in brackets NXT Brooklyn Dark Matches. Um, my opinions on these matches, these, these matches as a show won't affect my opinion of NXT Brooklyn. That's still a great show. Go check it out for everything, especially the Divas. Um, but the show, this show started off with the Hype Bros, Zack Ryder and Mojo Rawley, and Enzo and Cass, so Enzo Mori and Colin Cassidy, taking on the team of. Uh, Chad Gable, Jason Jordan, Dash Wilder, and Scott Dawson. This is a very fast-paced opener. Oh, well, actually, I should probably address something first. Legit boss, um, a new Sasha Banks shirt. This cost a lot of money. Uh, I bought this one. I was going to get a Bailey one, but they didn't have it in my size, so I decided to get a Sasha Banks one instead. Uh, it says Banks on it on the back. I've never owned a Divas t-shirt, so this is really cool, and I like, I like the feel of it and everything. I love Sasha Banks. She's great. Uh, obviously she's great. Uh, so this opener, of course, Hype Bros, Enzo and Cass take on Wilder, Dawson, Gable and Jordan. This was a very fast-paced opener. It was very hot. I liked it. I think that's what it needed to be to get the crowd into it. Into it sorry. Um, my predictions are going to be based off the predictions I made a week ago when these matches were announced. So I actually got one wrong. Um, I wouldn't just like check the results and then use those predictions. That's not fair. I did get one wrong because of that. Um, but we'll talk about that when we get to it. Um, the Hype Bros and Enzo Amore and Colin Cassidy won in the end after uh, Colin Cassidy gave, Big Cass gave a side slam to I think Dash Wilder. Oh no, it was Chad Gable. And then Enzo did the elbow drop. One, two, three. Uh, the faces win basically. I got that prediction right. I gave it three stars. I think it was a very hot opener. I really enjoyed it. Good, uh, good job from those guys. Uh, the next matchup was Carmella versus Eva Marie. Oh, this match was terrible. This match was really terrible. Eva, first of all, Carmella shouldn't talk. She's very annoying. Uh, the princess of Staten Island, as she says, against all red everything of Eva Marie. And I thought Carmella, as an angry worker, had potential. Uh, you know, she's obviously not the best at XD Diva, but I don't think she was the worst. After watching this matchup, I... Oh, God, this match was terrible. This match was really bad. Eva Marie, who I, again, thought could improve, and I say this every time I see her in the ring, I'm just like, maybe she can get better. Maybe she can get better. The training with Brian Kendrick looks good. She did a suicide dive in her training, yet in the two matches we've seen her in, she hasn't done a suicide dive. She copied the Kendrick, which is now being called Sliced Red, Cool name, but she can't hit it correctly. And in this matchup, she didn't hit it right. Nothing in this match worked. It was awful. I hated it. It was absolutely terrible. I gave him half a star. It was really bad. Really, really bad. I, you know what? Carmel wasn't too good either. So half a star was awful. After that, we had Bull. I my prediction was even Marie, so that's two and zero. After that, we had Bull Dempsey taking on Elias Sampson, who came out as the Drifter. Cool new gimmick. We'll see where he, how far he goes with that. Five minutes later, yeah, we get what Elias Sampson's going to be doing now. I went with Bull Dempsey, and Bull Dempsey wins after using the top rope sort of seated sent on on their opponent, uh, which is a different finisher because, yeah, I think he had the flying headbutt. Um, I do think this suits him a little bit more, that's why I like it. Um, I enjoyed Bull Dempsey in this match. I think as a comedy character, he could work. And he proved it definitely in this match. Um, very entertaining. I'll give him a, a lot of praise for that. The ball fit thing was a bit of a joke, but overall it was entertaining. I gave him two stars. I think he did a good job. I kind of liked Elias Sampson's gimmick, to be honest, as well. But Paul Dempsey did a really good job. Main event, Charlotte versus Becky Lynch versus Emma versus Dana Brooke. And also, while before this match uh, went on, uh, went on it was announced that Baron Corbin will team with Rhino in the first match of the uh, Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Invitation uh, Tag Tag Classic, sorry, um, against the Ascension. I hope the Ascension win. Better win. 
Uh, so our main event, Charlotte versus Becky Lynch versus Emma versus Dana Brooke. My prediction was Dana Brooke. And this was a solid Divas match. Um, we knew it would be. I mean, all four of these women are, are pretty good. Uh, Dana Brooke's probably, again, the, the greenest, but she was still pretty entertaining in this matchup. It was pretty obvious what we were going to get. Um, Dana Brooke and Emma getting rid of the, the faces easily and, you know, uh, double-teaming them. And then Charlotte and Becky got rid of the heels and then they had a, a fight, which was cool. Uh, it was a very good match. I mean, these Divas did a hell of a job. Compared to the match later on in the night between Bailey and uh, Sasha, obviously, not, obviously you can't touch it. But it was still a very entertaining Divas match. Um, the biggest issue with it is the ending, and I don't know, I think, to be honest, I think this is Dana Brooke and Becky Lynch's fault. What happens is Emma hits the Emma Might sandwich on Charlotte and then on Becky Lynch. She then pins Becky Lynch, one, two, three, Emma wins the matchup, which means my prediction was wrong because I predicted Dana Brooke. Um, Emma winning the matchup I'm fine with, I think that's really good, I think she could be the next opponent for Bailey, but... I believe that Dana Brooke was supposed to break the pin. And then, even then, like, Becky Lynch should be kicking out, to be honest. And I think, like, in the end, it is Becky Lynch and Dana Brooke's fault. And that does slightly take it down a bit for me. But I did, in the end, give it three and a quarter stars. I think the women did a hell of a job. So my overall rating for this show was... Because of how bad that, uh, that Divas match was with uh, Eva Marie and Carmella... I'm going to give it a 6, because I was entertained by the very fast-paced opener. I think that Bull Dempsey did a hell of a job in his match. And the main event, to me, was very entertaining, although the botched finish does slightly hurt it. So, um, thanks for watching. This has been a, a quick video. Basically, this video is basically just to review that and show my new shirt, which cost a lot of money. Uh, I went to town today and picked up a few things I'll be showing in a, an episode soon, uh, when Phantom Pain comes out, which is getting incredible reviews. So, that's going to be awesome. Probably will be Game of the Year. Uh, well, is that four at four, which three? So, um, I guess thanks for watching, guys. This has been my NXT August 27th review, NXT Brooklyn Dark Matches. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe for more.